We're now at a site called Chalton Ha, which means the flat stone where the water is collected. Um, and it's part of Izamal, and there's a whole load of structures here. Uh, and it's only recently been discovered. I mean, structure 23 had administrative functions. Uh, there's also a pre-Hispanic city, which is before the Maya, possibly. There's a sack bay that stretches all the way to Ake, where we, where we went earlier today. And it's kind of terminal classic 900 to 1200 AD, but it could be much older, especially as it's connected with the Sac Bay. So we're just walking into Chalton Ha. Now this is recently discovered site. The gate's wide open, amazingly. I'm quite surprised by that. And we just come across this giant platform. This is one corner of it. So there's not too much to see here, apparently, but we're gonna have a little look round I just can't believe you can just walk in here. And look, you can see it goes all the way down there and all the way around this side as well. We'll go around this side first, just to have a quick look. But yeah, this is really interesting. So it's connected with the Sac Bay, like a sacred pathway all the way to Ake and other sites possibly. And it's relatively recently discovered, only a few years ago. It's one of the ones I wanted to look at because of this. It's almost like a chicana shape probably from above, but we'll have a look at that when we get the drone up. I'm just gonna climb up the platform, have a quick look. This is pretty amazing actually, oh wow. So it's got structures all over the top of it as well here. Oh look at this, it's like a pyramid structure on top. Absolutely amazing. I did not expect this. I did not expect to be able to come in here either. So look, an actual pyramid, and this is a classic kind of Mayan site, apparently, although as it's connected to Ake, it could actually be older. And you see the steps kind of going up here. Rarely visit, I mean, no one's here. They just leave it open, which is quite unusual, you know, if they want to protect it. It's kind of got Teotihuacan influences by the look of it. Let's get up to the top anyway. So we're actually on top of it right now. So can't see much else from here, but I would imagine there's more structures. So this is the pyramid of Chalton Ha. Now this is very interesting barely been kind of uncovered we're just walking down one side of it it's like a step pyramid very wide there's a few other structures i saw with the drone but nothing significant nothing really megalithic here at the moment but there are some discoveries that have actually been made that are of interest this area is full of pyramids some in town some in the bush like this ake is very interesting as well just a few miles from here must remember that is actually connected with a sacred road from here to there. So we hope you enjoy this brief video with an aerial view of this relatively newly discovered pyramid here at Chalton Ha in not too far, 45 minutes to an hour from Merida, heading towards Chichen Itza. It's an amazing site and it's just the gates wide open. It's free to go in. So here we are at structure 24, which is known as El Conijo, which means the rabbit. Now this is quite an interesting part of the site. It's quite small, it's like 50 by 40 meters, and it's only a few meters tall. But it's quite a long site, um, and even though it's quite a small site, it's actually had quite a few interesting aspects uh, have been found. We have the interesting stonework, which has got the kind of Aki, kind of the main pyramid, Izamal style. So it's got this megalithic element to it. Also, there's utensils from daily life, uh, flint points, plant pots, and even some cutting tools made from obsidian as well. And there's even a copper bell was found here as well, which is, which is quite unusual. But this is really intriguing because they don't really know the, the function of it. They think it could be uh, having a Mayan official may have lived up here. 
but it really is just one of many sites around the town of Izamal. There's quite a few, as we know, and we're going to be looking at the uh, Habuk site next. Uh, we've already seen a couple of the areas here. And as you kind of go around the town, you realize that the entire town is kind of covered in these ruins. So, yeah, not, not too much to see here at this particular spot. but uh, And it was kind of closed. You can't really go in many of these sites because of COVID. Hopefully that will change. But if we continue around town, we went around town a couple of times. And we started seeing ruins like this. Like these large stones, just platforms, just next to shops and in the middle of town. And I've got the GPS here if people are interested and just broken megalithic blocks and this is technically it's the megalithic style that we find at these sites Izamal and Aki we have another platform here but we're going to continue now to another spot um, and we're going to go to a site called Habuk which is quite interesting so we're at yet another part of the archaeological zone of Izamal this is a huge again a huge structure it looks like it's uh, like a platform pyramid with very big stones around it. So this, I believe, is probably a bit older, one of the oldest parts of the site, like the main pyramid, or especially the foundations of it are. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you there's a few mega blocks here. There's some interesting features and uh, we're right on another street here. There's cars going by, there's people living just over there. So, yeah, more gigantic megalithic blocks. Look at these. Everywhere you look, all the way around, if you look carefully, like Izamal is like a serious megalithic pyramid city. It's quite something. And you can see the structure goes all the way back there, quite far back. It's got like a kind of almost like a cross shape, probably from above. Yeah, hidden by trees, but yeah, worth checking out. Anyway, another part of the site, another part of Izamal, and let's get to the next part. So I'm just on the streets of Izamal, and behind me is the Pyramid of Izamatl. This is and part of the great archaeological complex. The whole Izamal site stretches for several square miles, all the way down to Chelton Hu. The main pyramid, there's, there's other aspects, there's the rabbit area. I'm on a street here, so cars are going by, do excuse me. Uh, and this is one of the main pyramids, Izamatl it's called, and it's an archaeological zone. You can't go in it at the moment because of COVID, but we'll get some shots from above so you can get a sense of it um, in the greater landscape and how it fits in with some of the other sites. So if we actually kind of drive along, I mean, I'm actually filming this from the car, you can actually see how long there's like this long side platform going off from the main pyramid. Now, Obviously, it was closed uh, due to COVID, but here you can start to see the pyramid part of the structure forming with the steps going up, with the kind of, and you can see the corners there, the curved corners as they go around the site. Um, and there's quite a few other interesting features here. I and mean, you can see it in relation to the main pyramid, the mega pyramid, um, which is dominates the town. Uh, and you can see that it kind of, you know, is part of the greater complex. And throughout the town, we do find this. Also, down by the side of it, um, obviously, you have the curved corners here. And I'm going to just look at the steps up there. But if you actually look, you can see that stone just in front of on the bottom there. That's actually kind of like something looks like a footprint is carved into it. We have a couple of those at this part of the site. As we go closer to the edge of this side of the pyramid, uh, the far edge of it, we actually see some blocks just lying around. And again, these are the kind of megalithic blocks. Here's the one that looks like it's got a kind of, you know, footprint in it, if you like, but it could have been a, a pedestal to hold up some posts. Uh, we're not really sure. Um, and, you know, as we go along again, you can actually see um, we're going like the going across the other way now. 
But the most you know interesting thing about this is that the entire town has been built up around this. And you can see that here, you can see the top of the pyramid here, where it would have had different structures and the steps going down the opposite side as well. It looks like it's been partly constructed. Um, and you can see it there again in relation to the Great Pyramid of the town, plus actually in the direction ahead of us here, we actually have some of the other constructions that we've seen already. And again, we're just down the side of here, we have another series of blocks forming up another level of um, the edge of this particular pyramid and it just goes on really you could keep you know keep looking around this town and you'll find more and more of these it just gets fascinating the more you look around Izamar, the town as a whole it's full of mayan ruins so we're finally finishing our complete trip to Izamar. we've seen the main pyramid we've seen the rabbit archaeological zone and we're seeing this is a metal pyramid as well there's a few other areas here as well, a few little ruins here and there. But these are the main ones we wanted to show you. Obviously, there's Chelton Ha, which is very interesting and that's relatively newly discovered. So there's a whole load of stuff around Izamar, which we're probably going to include on our tour when we do one here because it's got megalithic aspects. It's got certain parts of it which are unexplained, just the sheer magnitude of some of the stones. And it's just a bit of an anomaly, really. No one really comes here, but it's probably because it's free entry, but it's one of the most impressive archeological sites in all of Mexico. I hope you subscribe to the Megalithomania channel, click the bell icon and be a patron if you can, we really appreciate it. And we'll keep exploring and keep sharing our research and explorations with you. Take care, Megalithomaniacs.